Have you ever heard someone say they're going to light a candle because someone else was sick? Why in the world would someone light a candle to help someone get better? Can you think of any reason at all? Would the candle actually do any good? And what good would it do? And, um, you know, if you're, you're going to use a candle for someone who is sick, shouldn't a candle be in the same room as the person who's sick or injured? Well, those are good questions. And I'm glad you asked. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. Okay, why do you put birthdays, why do you put candles on a birthday cake? Sure, if you're turning eight, maybe someone will put eight candles on your cake to show how old you are. But why candles? Why not something else? Why not nuts or sticks or, I don't know, all kinds of different things? Do we use candles just because they're fun? What do you think? Well, putting candles on birthday cakes started with the ancient Greeks long, long ago, who used to put them on cakes to make the cakes glow like the moon. And then they would take the cakes to the temple of the goddess Artemis. Some people believe that the smoke of the candles carried the prayer, their prayers up to the, the gods. Others believe the custom of putting candles on cakes started in Germany, where people used to put a big candle in the middle of a cake as a symbol of the light of life. Well, no matter when birthday candles were first used, we know that from ancient times all the way right up to today, and even tomorrow, candles have been lit for many different reasons, from celebrations and ceremonies to pro proclamations and processions. The candle's flame has often been used as a symbol for the soul. Lighting a candle for a special purpose or intention is practiced all over the world from people of all different walks of life. Lighting a candle is often a symbol for bringing light into to our wishes or our desires. A candle can be lit as a prayer, maybe for peace, and maybe a request for healing, and so many other things. Remember in our first episode when we talked about having many languages throughout the world, but, many, but very often the symbols are the same no matter where we go? Well, the universe works the same way too. It recognizes our intentions through the signals and symbols we use. If you wanted to know, for example, what time it was, but you didn't have a watch, a clock, or even a cell phone, okay, what single signal or symbol would you use? You'd point at your wrist, wouldn't you? You, you can do this without using any words at all, or even if it's some, nobody around you speaks the same language. You can just say, and everyone will know you're asking what time it is. How about this signal? <laughs> I bet you know that whatever you're doing, you better stop it right now, right? Cut, stop, right? Okay, okay, one more. How about this? You know what I did. I just blew you a kiss. You know what that symbol means. So if there are signals and symbols that people uh, recognize, even when they don't use the same language, don't you think the universe knows what we're talking about? I'll bet it does. Remember, our thoughts have energy. Our intentions have energy. And if people throughout hundreds or thousands of years use the same signal or symbol or motion to mean the same thing, then you can bet that the universe will understand what we mean and what our intentions are. Can you do something to tell something else to do to tell the universe you want to send healing energy to someone else who's sick? Well, of course you can. You bet you can. Uh, do you know that I'm still blowing you a kiss if I do it this way instead of this way? Sure you do. How about this? You know what that signal means, that symbol means, that motion means. How about, uh, do you know to stop what you're doing if I do this? How about this? <laughs> okay, so there's more than one way to do things. There are many different ways to do things, including letting the universe know that you want to send healing energy to someone. But because candles have been used for this very reason for many, many, many years, it's likely this will be a good choice to use. Candles are a good choice to use. Of course, you can send healing energy without using anything at all, except your intentions and your imagination. But a candle will help in two ways. First, you're physically doing something to let the universe know what your intentions are. Yo, universe, okay? When you light the candle, you're saying, you are putting out energy and intention. And second, every time you look at the candle, walk by the candle, happen to see it, it will remind you to send more energy, more healing thoughts. So the candle burns as a symbol and a reminder of our desires, both for the universe and for ourselves. 
Do you think the candle itself is sending the healing energy through the universe to the sick person? Or do you think it's your intentions that do the work? Maybe both. That's something for you to think about and something you'll have to decide for yourself. I would say it's pretty much like any other thing that you do. The more personal work or energy that you put into something, the better the results will be. So now we have a good idea of why we use candles to send healing energy to someone who needs it. But why do we use different colors? What is the right color or size or shape for the job? Well, just like everything else in the world, each color has its own frequency or its own vibration. And like I told you before, many times looking at a color or even thinking of a color will cause you to feel different emotions or different energies. The other thing I told you was that everybody does things in their own way. So the colors I'm going to show you and the things those colors match might be different for some people than for other people. So here we go with the colors. Green is for money, growth, and success. Yellow is for mental powers, learning, and inspiration. Red is for energy, love, and courage. White is for cleansing, spiritual healing, and balance. Blue is for healing, peace, and understanding. Purple is for protection, success, and confidence. Black is for banishing negativity. There are other colors too and each of these colors have other meanings too. But the most important thing to remember about magic, I bet you can guess it, is your intention. That means if you want to send healing energy to someone, no matter if they're in the same room or halfway around the world, you can use any color at all or any shape or size. We use the colors I've shown you as often as possible because the universe understands very quickly what we want and the colors of the candles help to make our intentions and wishes work more smoothly. So, but if all you have is a pink polka dotted candle and you want to send someone healing energy to help them get better, then guess what? Use that candle. And if you do, make sure you feel very good about what you're doing. If you aren't sure it will work, then the universe will know that and the candle won't work quite as well. If you are sure and use a polka dotted candle or a striped candle or one that's already halfway burnt out, but if you know that what you're doing is a good thing, then the universe will feel and understand what you mean better. No matter why you light a candle though, always make sure you always, always remember safety first. Always get permission uh, from a grown up before you use matches or lighters or when you're near a fire. So now you know a little bit about candle magic and why our intentions and our imaginations are so very important. Remember, your choices make a difference. Thanks for listening.